believe is you and such. Love. It's not the greatest commandment. How do they call you? Esther. It takes the glory of God to conceal a matter. This, Jacob, Rachel, the unknown me, a story to you. Give me some incentive to believe in who you really are. Give me some honor. For if it is truly the honor of kings to seek out truth in life. I am a man of scorn. I believed I was your Rachel. But it appears I am only Liv, and you serve time with me for it. It appears you have misplaced our necklace. I wonder if that is all you have misplaced. I have never pretended with you. Never pretended? Think you not that I see Mebukan strings dangling above your head even now? You care more for these Jews than you do for me. Do you inquire of my burdens? Do you offer me solutions? No. You just complain. This is once your favorite reading. And though it may no longer bear the story of love, it bears that of one Mordecai that you one of whom you wish to destroy saved your life. And you never even honored him for it. But I do love you. Love has failed me. Knowledge has failed me. Thus, I bind myself to the protocol of my fathers and to my empire. By the next moon, I leave for war. And whatever my fate it shall no longer be shared with you. Then marry me. And we shall spend an eternity discovering this truth. Speak not truth unto you. At least allow my heart. When we need to come back. I saw. I saw the star. 